Okay, welcome back to a new post-production tutorial. This is this uh, shoe I shot with only one simple LED light, a bit light painting. So what we will do, start to do, is to make a selection which one we should use for this image. Obviously not the first one. This is when I started to paint. It was a bit too, not enough light. So it was this one. Actually, I should have had a bit more light there, but okay. I will um, mark this so the rating to four so we know which ones to use this is uh, the right side pick this i thought was a bit too much to the left i don't know ah, let's go for that one the second one a bit more centered and there we have the top of the shoe the best one let's pick that one and then we have this uh, this is inside the shoe the first one let's pick that one and uh, i took a few I wonder which one that one i think this one is the best oh there is one it's moving but it's better you see the R better there. Okay, I will pick that one. Maybe we can use it. And this is uh, the background I started to play with. And uh, I don't know. I think we will set the shoe together. I will test a few different uh, backgrounds. I don't know which one you should go for. You already seen it in the thumbnail for the video. Which one I chose. Right now I have no idea. This one is a bit cool. Swoosh. A bit of Nike swooshy. That one also maybe. Too boring, too straight. Probably. No, no. No. Hmm. I will pick a few. The ones I think is looks the best. This I like. No, 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 no. Let's hit G. Then we will see all of them again. And then I will, I will click. Show me only the one we chose. The star red ones. So all these. But I think we should uh, edit in, um, match them a bit in Lightroom first. So maybe we can edit this one, hit W, and then um, maybe we can match this one with, it should be like this one, I think. Oh, this one is good. This is fine. This is the reference, the right side. And let's make this one a tiny bit brighter, something like that. And this one is fine. And this, we will only take this part. And this, we will only take that part. Maybe I can pull out, it becomes a bit brighter up there. Maybe take down the highlights and then I pull exposure, something like that. Ah, this is the other with, we can see the R there. Yeah, we will use that one, maybe. And this is the backgrounds. We don't need to do anything about those right now, I think. Let's go back to, so we see all of them. And then I mark them all. And then I don't think we can merge them together. There's not enough information to align them because they're different parts so but i will open as layers open them all as layers in photoshop i think this is smart yeah. let's see what happens yeah we will get them all in yeah this is good he will open them in one file but all the different parts will be different layers so it will be easy to to comp them together okay so now photoshop let's start with um, this is left side okay i will pull this down and then i will put the second shot we took the right side and then i just stand on the layer and go to mask alt click it disappears stylus and then i hit b for brush then i just paint in this side with white I just updated the, the system to the latest. Always a mistake. Suddenly Photoshop doesn't work. I wonder if we should take away this. This is like the swoosh on the side, but we just see it a tiny bit. So I think it will look nicer if we just hide it. They look kind of nice. So this is only the right side layer. This is only the left side. We have that as, as the base. And then what do we have next? This is the lasers. Let's put it on top, uh, alt, mask, and then we take the brush, paint with white on the mask, not up there, but here. It's nice. Then we have the next layer. What is that? It's, it's the top of the shoe. Turn it on, alt, mask, brush. Let's go for that one. It's okay. It's okay. He's fine. He will be okay. What do we, what is the next one? It's the lower part. Turn this on, put it on top, alt click. Let's take a look at only this layer that we have. Maybe I should go into gradient tool and what do we want? We want black to transparent and I switch this. So we will get, yes, black to transparent and that mode. What would happen if I, I was thinking maybe I can just 
activate this like this. Let's take a look. Yes, let's go for that one. Next, Nike logo on whatever it's called. And then we paint it in. It's a bit nice. What's next? Inside the shoe. We have that one and then we have also this one. Is this one nicer? We can see the R. Let's drag this one down. Need to, I will make a, just one layer curves so we can see. So we can put this in in the right. We'll take down opacity so I can see if I can see where to place this. It needs to be rotated a bit, I think. Maybe it's easier if I, I take off this curves layer. And then I put on a mask and then I just paint it white like this. Maybe it is on the right spot. This other one was correct. I didn't move the shoe then. I can use that one as a guide. Maybe it needs to be rotated a bit. Yeah, something like that. I will uh, turn off this guide running opacity 100%. It looks kind of nice i think we have that one a lit up area inside let's put on mask and paint that in make sure you have paint with white otherwise nothing will happen i wonder if nike ever shot their their <laughs> what is this bug you know new operating system everything is up what to do with the top here this looks a bit funny can we fake it a bit fake it till you make it hit M and then we mark this side of the shoe and then command J to take that selection and put it on the new layer and then I will go to edit uh, transform flip horizontal horizontal flip and then I and then I move this to this side and then I put on a mask in hold on alt brush white then we see if we can make it a bit put it on this side yeah, I think that will look a bit nicer. And you see this uh, clamp, a clamp, it's holding the shoe. We need to take that away, of course. This will be a bit hard on this side. So I guess we have to copy this side. I will now do uh, command alt shift E. And then we have all of these layers put together in one layer. Very destructive and nice. Um, so, and I will do uh, M again and copy this side. Command J, new layer, move it on this side, and then we go to edit, uh, transform, horizontal flip, and then I need to take down the opacity so I see where to put this. <clears throat> yeah, the shoe doesn't look the same on both sides, of course. I have to rotate this a bit so we can use just the edge there. Okay, I will start like this, put it back to 1%, put on a mask. Alt. And then I zoom in and then I go with white. Let's paint it in, see if we can make it a bit nice. Kind of, sort of. <laughs> okay, this is a bit too, need to be a bit brighter. I just um, put on a curves layer, pull up a bit brightness, brush, paint in to keep this tutorial a bit short. Not five hours you need to go a bit fast so everything is not perfect of course hope you understand this but i know that you will get the idea you know if nike phone me and ask me can you shoot this i will retouch it for like five weeks you know so it's good enough now i would like to what would i like to do i think i we need to make a selection around the shoe and i will use this curse layer so i will see better where i should put the path around the shoe it's a bit hard to see i will do my best sorry i have a delivery oh, shit. i need to go out in like soon in like soon okay let's go let's go let's make a quick selection path of the shoe don't look so much on my pen to work because i'm i'm not doing it the correct way go to flern on youtube you know he's the best so getting closer so now we have a path around the shoe and let's go up to selection and click OK. And uh, I realize we should really... I will do a... Uh, put them all together again. And then I will hit Command J. And then I turn everything off below. And then we have the shoe. And we can drag down. Look at the backgrounds. This one is mine. I'll put it below. 
kind of nice. This is another one. I'll put them all, all the background, and then we have to choose one. That one I like. This is nice that you can see the so many choices. Which one should we go for? Let's vote. Can we make a poll? This or this one? That one is a bit cleaner, maybe. <laughs> I think I will go with that one, this one. I want to look at this. Uh, I'll put this layer on top. And then I will mark this part. Let's see if I can I put it on a separate layer. Only that selection. And maybe we can fake this a bit. Turn it a bit. And then put it back to 100% uh, opacity. Uh, Alt. Mask. And then see if we can paint this guy in. Thing is, the background. So, first, I need to fix this background. And let's see if Photoshop can can shift backspace content aware fill, and we have to stay uh, stand on the correct layer background content aware fill almost. Let's do it again. Actually, this part, which part is it that we need to do, 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 do. Where is this small one? Ah, it's there first. Okay, let's undo this. Let's go to the turn off this and let's go to the background layer and make a copy of it. And then we can try to content aware, content aware, fill, uh, shift back. Mm, backspace enter not that good then i'll take the lasso tool do it again mm, do it down here and again i wonder if this is enough maybe a bit more and then we put this back on maybe i can move this a bit put it somewhere it will fit sort of maybe maybe there and then i need to take away everything around it because we only want the tip of the yes now i will take away then i click alt click the mask and then we take away i don't know what's wrong with photoshop okay there we have the 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 the, 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 the tip i need to use this other backup layer and i will put on the mask and then we can i will actually try to move this again where i was thinking we should have it from the start somewhere around there something like this yeah it's okay it's good enough for now and this we need to take away from the background layer let me just go back and fill in this okay where is the background layer this one i need to fix the this i have to take this away let's try with the lasso duel and see if the content aware fill will work bam bam voila fantastico okay where are we now uh, there is something up here here, I think it's the clamp. I will uh, turn on this layer and the curse layer so we can see. And I will, um, what should I do? Maybe just paint with black. This is very rough now. But I think this goes a bit faster than just painting with black. Because we don't want to see anything else except this background swoosh. Let's turn off this curse. It would be nice to have like a rim light behind this but we don't so is there anything else we need to do with this image hue saturation adjustment layer and then i click this and then it will be only effect so if i change the shoe wow i think the uh, correct color is actually this one green and blue green and teal green and yellow orange pink should we keep them the same green green if I take away this whole image, which color should we go for? Should we go crazy and make it pink? It's quite nice. Purple. I can go, I can, I can switch this slider all day. <laughs> green. I'm kind of uh, tired of the green one. Maybe we should go for, that's kind of cool. Teal, blue. Well, if it was a real shoot, then you have to go with the original color you know and the original something like this but i don't like that one so much now we can, you know we can do whatever you want i cannot decide so i would just pick this one uh and now i see where is the tip oh there it is okay there we have it it turned out to be a pink one you know in five minutes i would change my mind and then i want to have another color now we have to end this it's been way too long already okay so this is it for this time. Click everything 
Everything you can click on below, click on everything, then you'll be fine. Then you'll be safe, okay? So, see you next time. <laughs>